It's Sarah here, and I'm with the NASA at My Library Project in Cornerstones of Science. I have here with me a planisphere. This is the Orion Star Target Constellation and Celestial Object Finder, or also known as a planisphere. It's a great tool to help you learn how to explore the night sky. So let's get started. First of all, you'll want to dial in the date and time you are going to view the night sky. So you see here, this white part moves around. Those are the dates. And then the times are in black along the edge here. So I'm going to dial in December 15th at 9 p.m. And what that shows me here is that this area right inside here, all of these stars and items, objects in there, are what I would see in the night sky at 9 p.m. on December 15th. Now, the next thing that you'll want to do is stand in a direction um, so that you can match up the stars with what you're seeing in the night sky. So what I mean by direction, on here it shows north, south, east, and west. So right now I'm facing north and I'll need to move my planisphere to show, to help me match up those objects in the northern sky. So that means I need to turn my planisphere, hold my thumb on the north, and turn my planisphere up like this so that I match up this, the objects in this, that I see here in the sky, in the northern sky right above me, all right? When I want to turn east at 9 o'clock on December 15th, I turn my body to the east and put my thumb on east. Tur I've turned my planisphere and look in this section of the planisphere, and I can see right above me in the eastern sky the different objects that are available to view that night. Now the stars move at night, so if I stay for about an hour or so, um, then I'll need to move to 10 o'clock or later, move your December 15th up to 10 o'clock, or even if I stay till uh, 11 o'clock. You saw how the stars move a little bit in the night sky. Um, the other interesting piece about a planisphere is that it can help you see which stars are the brightest, which objects are the brightest. So the largest white circle, you can see many of them in there, are going to be your brightest objects that night. And the dimmest ones will be smaller and lighter objects. And it helps you also see what other objects are available in the night sky to view. Globular clusters, galaxies, many, many things. Now your planets are not going to be on your planisphere. They move relative to the stars, but you can see them along a line called the ecliptic. And that is on this planisphere in green. It's kind of a line in green that crosses the whole sky. And so if you see a star, a star or an image object on that <laughs> uh, line in the sky, and that's probably going to be a planet. Also, what's interesting about a planisphere is if you're having trouble kind of figuring out where you're at, this grommet right here is the North Star. So it can help you. If you can find the North Star in the sky, then you're going to be pretty well off knowing that that's where that grommet is. You also want to use this planisphere when you're looking at the night sky, if you're facing east, and anytime you use this, you want to use a red light flashlight instead of a white flashlight, a white light flashlight, because you'll want to keep your eyes adjusted for the night sky, and a red light can help you do that. A white light will kind of obscure your night sky viewing. So we hope that you'll have fun using the planisphere. It's a great, great tool. Um, you'll get to see what's up there. You can use this just with your eyes. You can then use binoculars or a telescope to really hone in on some of the things you want to look at. All right, we hope you get outside and see what's up. Thanks.